Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and this is a talk I gave actually pretty recently, uh, just the other week actually, in London at the podcast show. It was a fantastic event and now I'm delighted to bring it to you on my YouTube channel. Now, of course, if you're just interested in the links, you can go ahead and find them in the description to this video if you'd like to find the AI tools I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to helpfully help you to revolutionize your podcast creation with AI, AI tools and techniques for high quality audio. So let's get started by listening to some audio and just judging what we think of this podcast I made earlier. Welcome to Podcast Equipment 101, your quick guide to the essential equipment you need to start your own podcast. I'm your host, Mike Russell, and today we'll explore the tools that will help you bring your podcasting dreams to life. Let's dive right in. First and foremost, you'll need a high quality microphone. Now, if you hadn't already noticed, that version of Mike speaks a whole lot better, pronounces words perfectly, and the podcast is 100% AI generated. It's my goal by the end of this session, you're going to know all the tools you need to make a podcast that sounds like this, from the music intro to the voice and a lot more as well. Eight AI tools coming up that I think are really going to level up your production values. And by the way, I'll leave a little time at the end for some questions. So if you have any questions here in the chat, please feel free to post them. Just as I answered questions in person at the podcast show last week, I'll uh, maybe bring a few of those back into this session and answer some stuff in the live chat as well if we get any questions there. So any AI tools, questions, get them in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you did come to the talk the other week, make yourself known in the chat. Okay, so you've just heard a little example there of an English language podcast, and I told you that was 100% AI generated. What about multi-language podcasting? You're going to learn about that too in this session. Check this out, okay? Bienvenue à l'équipement pour podcast, votre guide rapide sur l'équipement essentiel dont vous avez besoin pour démarrer votre propre podcast. Je suis votre hôte et aujourd'hui, nous allons explorer les outils qui vous aideront à concrétiser vos rêves de podcasting. Plongeons directement dedans. Tout d'abord, vous aurez besoin d'un microphone de haute qualité. Well, there you go. You can see that that is a French language podcast. I don't speak French very well. I speak a little bit, certainly not with that perfect accent. And I have confirmed with some of my French friends that that is really good pronunciation. So in this session, I'm going to show you not only how to podcast in English, but also in French and other languages using some of the AI tools. Uh, obviously, you can't get this on the live stream now on YouTube. But when I was in a room, a full room at the podcast show in London, there were audible gasps in the audience when I played that clip. Let's move on to the next thing. And um, I just wanted to say, keep the chat coming in. I'm going to shout you out and do Q&A at the end. I can see everything you're posting, by the way. Uh, so just so you know who I am, <laughs> for those of you who've watched my channel, you'll know who I am. Uh, but for those at the podcast show, I introduce myself. I'm Mike Russell. I'm from Music Radio Creative. We're a global audio production company working with podcasters, brands, DJs, radio stations around the world. We work in virtually every single country in the world, which is phenomenal. It's a great job. I really love it. I teach Adobe Audition. I'm an Adobe certified professional and I'm here to make your audio and editing and AI life easier. You can follow me on Twitter at iMikeRussell and find me on YouTube. Uh, you probably already found me on YouTube if you're watching this, youtube.com slash at Mike Russell. Uh, and links, by the way, are in the description. So I did share uh, the podcast show. I'd be sharing the links. If you're watching this video, just unfold the description down below and you'll see all the links to all the tools I'm going to mention. Right, let's get into eight AI tools for podcasters right now. So you can make audio that sounds like that and even better and possibly even automate your podcast creation, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, let's start with Adobe Podcast. Why Adobe Podcast? They are really leading the way in podcast editing and doing things easily. I am super impressed with it, what Adobe Podcast can do. It started life... Um, as Project Shasta, uh, and it came out of the hood. Now it's in beta, so you can sign up for beta. The link is in the description to this video, and it's really a phenomenal tool. Actually, since I did the talk last week at the podcast show in London, Adobe have really put their stamp down on the generative AI space and said, hey, yeah, we are here for our paid cloud subscribers. Whether you get one app or you pay for the whole bundle, as I do, um, you will get access to phenomenal features. So just a throwaway comment here. 
Adobe Podcast is not the only game in town now. They have released in the beta version of Photoshop the ability to generate amazing images inside your creations. But anyway, that's slightly outside the realm of podcasting, but I wanted to say Adobe are all in on generative AI at the moment. So what does Adobe Podcast do? It's AI-powered recording and editing, high-quality local recording, cloud-based syncing. You can enhance speech, which is great when you record things that are less than perfect. Noise, echo, rumble, all that kind of stuff. Plus, it'll give you advice on your microphone setup. Uh, so this is how it looks, Adobe Podcast. It's very clean. You can give it a title. You can upload audio, you can do all kinds of cool stuff, and it's easy to invite guests remotely to join you, which is often a problem when we're working from an office or a studio, and we don't have physical guests coming in, we want to connect with them, but we're always concerned about audio quality. Adobe Podcast doesn't have that problem, it does it really crystal clear. Uh, let's have a quick play around with it and just show you how Adobe Podcast works. So here's a mic check, which uh, I recorded earlier, and it transcribed for me as well. One, two... This is Mike Russell checking the mic. Okay, that's good. Now I can add music. You see the music tab there. You've got access to a bunch of really cool royalty-free stuff uh, from Adobe Stock Audio that you can insert in your podcast for intros, outros, and things like that. Um, now take a look at this. This is my friend Nick Nimmin. He's an awesome YouTuber, and occasionally he records in noisy environments. Well, I threw a little bit of his audio into Adobe Podcast and thought I'd try the enhanced speech feature. Listen to the original recording. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public. Okay, let's now go to filters and let's click enhance speech. It does its magic. Let's play back. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public. Yeah, I mean, that's game over, isn't it? For the, for the cleanup process, just one little filter enabling and you've got quality audio. Obviously, Nick recorded that audio out on a busy street, lots of background noise and Adobe Podcast Beta has done an amazing job on that. Now... It also has this great thing called mic check. Now, often we have issues as podcasters. Sometimes we work in a great studio with, uh, you know, sound tiles like I've got behind me. But often it's it's an office, it's a spare room, it's an afterthought. Um, and you probably want to know if you're using the microphone in the correct way, if you've got the right mic technique. Well, that's what mic check can do for you. It'll judge things such as distance to the microphone, how loud or quiet your microphone is, is there any background noise, and what about the echo in the room? Let's play with it. How is my microphone setup and placement? Okay, you click stop and then, oh, look, see the gain is too high. Uh, that's the problem there. So I'm gonna have to test the mic again and see if I can get it down. How is my microphone setup and placement? Stop the test, let's see where we are. Oh, everything's in the green apart from one. Let's test again. How is my microphone setup and placement? Please. Yes, four ticks. My microphone is set up perfectly. Now, obviously, I modulated the volume of my voice in that example. Uh, but if I were really doing this, I would turn down the gain on my microphone channel uh, until I get within the green zone. Now, this is fantastic because often when we're setting things up, uh, you know, we don't always get everything perfect. This is a real quick check to show if we're in a, a good zone. But you can see my distance to the microphone is good. Uh, my gain is now perfect. Background noise is fine. So it's telling me, you know, I'm in a quiet recording room and there's like no echo at all so really good thing if you're unsure about your setup adobe podcast is the way to go use the mic check feature it's awesome second tool i want to introduce you to well actually i don't feel like i'm introducing you to this uh judging by the reaction from the podcast show so many of you told me you're already using this have used this you've liked this for many things Descript, if you've been living under a rock, it's an all-in-one tool for podcasts. It gives you auto transcription, much like Adobe Podcast does. It's got a few other bells and whistles, though. And you can do editing from transcripts. Again, similar to Adobe Podcast, but uh, Descript has a few other superpowers, such as video editing and the ability to do YouTube shorts. So let's have a look at how this would work in practice. Uh, here is the basic interface of Descript. Notice I've got night mode on, because I don't like big white screens in my face. Uh, so let's just have a play. Hello there, and welcome to my show about, uh, I really wish I'd given this more thought. Podcasting. That's right. Okay, so there you go. You can see I've done a recording. Hello there, and welcome to my show about, uh, I really wish I'd given this more thought. Okay, and I can edit stuff out by selecting the text, not a messy waveform delete, and then look what happens. Play. Hello there, and welcome to my show about podcasting. That's right. Oh, 
Perfect. So that is Descript in a nutshell. I can hit, I can record straight in. It's going to auto transcribe me as I go. Pretty awesome feature. I think it does it in multiple languages too. And then if I want to edit an er out or a whole sentence, as you've seen there, I can do it with ease. Uh, you've got the waveform there at the bottom of the interface as well. But really, that very much for most editors now is becoming a thing of the past as this text based editing uh, with these AI tools is becoming really, really good. OK, uh, let's have another play and let's have a go at YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to click up into the uh, squares icon there and I'm going to change my layout here. I've got a template. Hello there and welcome to my show about podcasting. That's right, this show is about podcasting. So you see that makes me a video with some text, which is absolutely fantastic. That'll work well for a YouTube short, like having the transcription of what's being said on the screen. But at the moment, it's it's not perfect because it's just text on a dark background. That's not a very slick and cool looking YouTube short. So let's have a mess about with it. And actually, let's go up into the uh, media. And we've got images. We can search here. So I can search for audio. I can scroll until I find something suitable. And uh, let's... Ah, look, that microphone, that looks quite nice. So let's... Click that, it's going to download it into my YouTube short template and then I can move it to the back so it's behind the text, which is cool, and then just resize it and get it all looking perfect. So we've got like a really nice dynamic looking YouTube short. There we go. It's looking really good. Spot on, bang on in place and we can play it back. Hello there and welcome to my show about podcasting. Okay, so it's as simple as that to use Descript to make uh, not only great sounding audio, edit with text-based transcripts, but you can also make YouTube shorts in a snap. It's so easy to go between views and modes. So you can like export audio, you can export YouTube shorts, you can do TikTok, you can do Reels, you can do anything you want in there. It's a really diverse tool and very, very accurate, actually. Uh, I love some of the audio effects as well over on the right-hand side. Um, this was the third one, and many people mentioned to me after my talk at the podcast show last week that Eleven Labs was the show stealer. So listen up. If there's one part in the video to skip to, it's probably this bit. Eleven Labs are crushing it and changing the game. They have been, actually. They've been around, actually pretty much in the public eye since ChatGPT came out. By the way, we're going to play uh, bingo on how many times I say that because that's not one of my tools. <laughs> Unlike so many other AI tools videos, I will not be suggesting ChatGPT because we all know that exists. So Eleven Labs, uh, what is it? It's realistic AI speech software. It will change your text into speech. It does speech synthesis. It will actually clone voices. Yeah, I've cloned my voice using this software. It's got a voice lab with voice design. You can do multilingual. You're going to love that. And there's pacing and pauses coming soon, so you'll actually be able to edit and make your cloned voice or your speaker speak just like a real person. You'll be able to insert breaths, intonation, tone, everything. It's going to be insane. So what does Eleven Labs do? OK, well, here's the interface. It's really basic. You just sign up. They've got a beta program going on. You do need to pay for this, but I pay, and I think it's worth it. So let's have a play. And this is my cloned voice. I'm just going to type in now. Hey, this is Virtual Mike at the podcast show 2023. And let's generate. By the way, this uh, voice was cloned, can be cloned on one minute of audio. Hey, this is Virtual Mike at the podcast show 2023. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> and then I can go into voice settings and I can change the stability and I can also change the clarity and similarity. Let's do it again. Hey, this is Virtual Mike at the podcast show 2023. This is game changing for voiceovers because you can get different deliveries. Let's try again. Hey, this is Virtual Mike at the podcast show 2023. And the funny thing is, I was changing those sliders there to vary the voice slightly, but you actually don't even need to change the sliders. Every time you hit generate, you will get a different sounding voiceover out of this. This software is absolutely mind blowing. Let's take a look at Voice Lab. Uh, so, in Voice Lab, you can clone your own voice with yes. One minute of audio minimum. Now, obviously, to build up my voice, I've trained it on a lot more audio, and I think that does make it more accurate. But all you need is one minute, which why we is why we're getting the uh, at the moment we're getting a proliferation of um, Donald Trump and Joe Biden Minecraft videos and things like that all over the interwebs at the moment because people are using technology like this uh, to clone voices, and they're actually doing it very, very well. Indeed. We're not going to clone voices because you've kind of seen a little bit of that. We're actually going to use the voice designer where you can create a voice that has never been heard before. It's like generative AI for voiceover. So check this out. Add voice. 
Uh, we're going to do voice design, and then we choose some characteristics. Female, go for a middle-aged female, and let's go for Australian here. And then we just need to type in a script. So uh, this is something I'm not always a fan of doing. Live reads in a podcast episode. Well, don't worry, because Eleven Labs, Voice Lab, Voice Design can actually do that for you. Uh, so here's my live read script. Oh, it's 92 characters and I need to enter a minimum of 100. So hope this works. Okay, click generate and let's listen to the voice. If I have to do another ad for Athletic Greens, I'll die. So let's get AI to do it instead. Hope this works. That's great. We can change the accent strength and maybe let's go for an Indian style voice and try again. If I have to do another ad for Athletic Greens, I'll die. So let's get AI to do it instead. Hope this works. Absolutely insane. Now, those voices are randomly generated, uh, not based on existing voices. This is craziness. You get a different voice uh, each time you change around the accent strength and the accent and the age and the gender. It really is crazy stuff. I don't think it's quite as, as, as good and realistic as the cloned voices. But, you know, if you need to generate a voice in a snap, that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, check this out on the screen now. Uh, that is Hindi. And I want to preface this part because we've spoken at the start of this presentation about multilingual podcasting and how cool it is to be able to do that. Eleven Labs allows you and enables you to do things like this. Um, now, I was really fortunate when I was in the room giving my talk to have a native Hindi speaker, and I did get some really interesting feedback on this. So first of all, let me play you the audio so you can listen to the podcast. Again, the same podcast that I played at the start of my presentation, coming back to you in Hindi, and then I'll give you some feedback from a native speaker in just a moment. Check this one out. This is crazy. आपका स्वागत है पॉडकास्ट उपकरण में आपके खुद के पॉडकास्ट शुरू करने के लिए आवश्यक उपकरणों पर एक त्वरित मार्गदर्शक मैं आपका मेजबान हूं और आज हम उन उपकरणों की खोज करेंगे जो आपको पॉडकास्टिंग के सपने साकार करने में मदद करेंगे चलिए सीधे आगे बढ़ें सबसे पहले आपको एक उच्च गुणवत्ता वाले माइक्रोफोन की आवश्यकता होगी Okay, that that to me that sounds beautiful. I don't know what is being said, but it sounds beautiful. It's using Eleven Labs multi language, and uh, that is a feature that's available. So this not only can clone voices, but can do multiple language languages. And I did get some feedback from. Uh, I was very fortunate to have a native Hindi speaker in the room, and uh, she speaks Hindi very very well indeed. And I was told that the kind of Hindi that was being spoken there in that sample, although it sounds very impressive and very cool, apparently is very old style Hindi and the, the way she described it was that it's it's kind of like almost hearing Shakespearean English but I would imagine really strong and and thick and old Shakespearean English so that even me as a native English speaker would probably find really strong Shakespearean English hard to understand just as she did with that native Hindi. Now I will go ahead and say that actually I don't feel that it was the fault of Eleven Labs and the, uh, the, the, the actual translating to a different language. I feel here that it was probably the difficulty there with the translation software I use to take my script for my podcast and translate it to Hindi. So clearly there's an issue there. Uh, I actually use ChatGPT. I just put my script in there and I said translate this to Hindi and clearly it threw me old school Hindi out. So that's what I got out of Eleven Labs. But it's worth to bear in mind. And uh, there's an interesting question on multiple languages, particularly those less spoken um, that I'll get to at the end of this presentation. And just to say before I move to the next slide, uh, any questions, feel free to post them if you're watching live now. I will get to Q&A at the end of this session. So if you've got anything about AI or the tools I'm showing, get them in. Okay, so we've seen Eleven Labs. It's really cool. It can do multi-language. It's uh, eight different languages. The next one is lalal.ai. I love this. I actually done a video about them on my channel before. I'm really impressed with the kind of stuff it can do. So you can get clear voice from your audio. If it's muffled with background noise or if there's like music playing in the background, it can also split uh, music into different stems. So you can get drums, music, bass, all of that cool stuff. Uh, and it'll do all kinds of, yeah, all kinds of clever cleanup. So let's have a play with this and see what it can do lalal.ai links in the description so we've got some audio before noise removal of course there's the spot but then there's all the things around it that support it so of course paris and barcelona are great cities to visit especially if you're um, you know the average skateboard demographic it's quite friendly for whatever you want to get up to in the evening as well okay 
Not too bad, but yeah, there's background chatter. It's recorded outside. It's near a skate park. Let's use lalal.ai, clean it up, and after noise removal, we get this. Of course, there's the spot, but then there's all the things around it that support it. So, of course, Paris and Barcelona are great cities to visit, especially if you're, um, you know, the average skateboard demographic. It's quite friendly for whatever you want to get up to in the evening as well. Pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, so that is an example of how you can do noise reduction. But not only that, we can play around uh, with music. Now, we can put any kind of music into Lal Lal and split it into its different stems. This is good if we're making a podcast intro and we want to get different various mix outs. Or with commercial music, if we have the permission to use it uh, legally, then we can, of course, uh, play with the stems. But again, that's another issue entirely as to can you split commercial music into stems and can you remix it? The answer is probably not. Uh, actually, uh, PRS, the Performing Rights Society here in the UK, were also represented at the podcast show. They were actually lovely people, got to meet them a few times, and it would be a good question to uh, present to them as to what you can and can't do with commercial music. That aside, let's look at what Lal Lal can actually do if you use the AI features. So we've got music that sounds like this. And then we can split that up with Lal Lal so we can get the drums only of that track. This is all using AI, or we can just get the melody. Pretty awesome stuff, isn't it? Uh, right, so that's lalal.ai. Let's move on to our next tool, which is Adobe Firefly. I've already given you a heads up that I'm really excited about what Adobe Firefly can do. Uh, they have uh, already given us so much, and actually since I gave the presentation only last week, Adobe released Adobe Photoshop Beta, and um, they have got some fantastic stuff with generative AI for images. It's insane, uh, and you can actually select parts of your photo and have it do generative AI content aware fill. So you could select a lake and you could put the Loch Ness Monster in there by typing Loch Ness Monster. Or you could expand your image and then select the expanded blank parts and say fill this in and it'll do it really well. Loads of videos about that uh, on YouTube and on Adobe's very own channel, so check it out. Um, but what can Adobe Firefly do and what will it do in the future? Text to image AI, AI generated music, AI generated sound effects, uh, captions, animated text, B-roll generation from script, all coming soon, many of those. I did have a play with the beta uh, even before they rolled out the, uh, the Photoshop generative AI goodness and I could do text to images so I can actually write out a piece of text and have it filled in with something of my choice. So I just type my name and then had it fill up with microphones. It looks quite nice. And um, here's a, a brief overview of some of the stuff that's coming soon. This is, by the way, all of this is video from Adobe's very own YouTube channel uh, teasing Adobe Firefly and the video and audio capabilities coming soon. So credit to Adobe Creative Cloud's channel. Thank you very much for allowing me to use this video to show off the new features you've got coming soon. So first of all, describe what you want to create. Uh, bright, adventurous, cheerful music, go. And it does it, like, seamlessly, like this. There we go, and then you can find sound effects relevant to your video. Look at that, ocean foam is there. Play it back, and the ocean is there. Absolutely insane. So you've got all of this coming soon, but not only that, you can do captions, animated text and stuff like that. So look at that, generate captions. We can already do this inside Premiere Pro, but now it inserts it and gives you the YouTube short style thing, much as Descript were doing. You can also animate text, 3D molten iron. Look at that, whoa, that is pretty insane stuff. Uh, and, and that is not all. This is one of my favorite coming soon features. You'll be able to find B-roll that's relevant to your video. So you'll be able to go ahead, get the transcript of your video, it'll analyze it, hear what's spoken about, and look at that, it's, it actually inserts B-roll related and relevant to your video. I mean, that is just crazy new AI stuff. Uh, like I said at the start of this presentation, Adobe really has gone all in on generative AI, and I'm excited to be a Creative Cloud member, and I really think they've got a good offering in terms of uh, image, photo editing, audio, video, and a heck of a lot more. Anything that's creative, uh, Adobe have really put the anchor down there on generative AI, and I'm glad to see them do it. Um, we'll get on to the whisper. One thing I would mention at this point is uh, we haven't heard much from Apple yet on generative AI, but I do look forward to WWDC. I wonder if anything will be announced there. I don't know, but I wonder. Hmm, Apple? 
How about it? OK, uh, this is a big shout out to an open AI tool. Uh, yes, the creators of ChatGPT also created a really handy tool for podcasters called Whisper. OK, uh, Whisper has a speech recognition system. It's got multilingual transcription. It's actually quite good. And it's an open source project. Um, there's not really that much more to say about Whisper. If you're a techie or a coder, you can go and find Whisper on GitHub. It is free and open source. You can go and spin up a server and run the code yourself and do all kinds of wonderful things like transcribe podcasts for free and change them into multiple different languages. In fact, thinking about it, when I did the hand Hindi translation, the handy Hindi translation, probably should have used Whisper. It might have given me a more accurate uh, translation there. It's open source and it'll be integrated into various other apps as well. So if you're non-techie, I think you will get access to this uh, very soon indeed. Like, for instance, the ChatGPT app that has been released actually has Whisper integrated to transcribe your voice, and it works really rather well. I've tried it myself. I like it. Uh, here's another AI tool, MidJourney. Uh, again, this is one that if you haven't heard of it, you've probably been living under a rock. It is an AI image generator. It works from your text prompts. It's great for podcast artwork ideas. Uh, you can do images, as I've just mentioned, from the text you type in. And of course, you can pull them into Adobe Photoshop and other things. And now it's even more uh, pertinent that you actually maybe go for Adobe Photoshop beta and pull your generated image into uh, the Adobe Photoshop and then use their generative AI to further improve and enhance. Because one thing MidJourney can do well is generate an image from a text prompt, but it can't like alter sections of the image. Photoshop is going to be the beta version. It's going to be amazing with its generative AI ability. So let's look. I gave it a prompt. Podcast artwork, comma, world travel show. I kept it really super simple. Now, obviously, you can make really enhanced prompts and you can put those in and you can get something better. But actually, just with that prompt, I got four pretty reasonable uh, images that I could use for my podcast artwork. This is crazy and insane. I absolutely love it. You'll notice some have like weird glitchy text on. Um, but that's OK, because you can, again, you can Photoshop that content aware fill or generative AI fill the area and then uh, overlay some text. So I picked this one. I upscaled this image. I loved this image. I think it's really cool. It really shows what world travel is all about for me. So then I've taken it into Photoshop and put text on. But of course, now with generative AI in Photoshop, I can do more than that. You know, if there's anything I don't like about the image, I can just use the generative AI fill uh, selector area. So it's it's really, really awesome stuff. And look at that. Then you'll appear in New and Noteworthy next to your best friends, looking great with rocking podcast artwork. So mid-journey, it's a really good one. You can sign up. They've got a Discord. Interesting way of doing things, but it keeps things open and public and you can learn from what others are doing. Really can't recommend it enough. And actually... I'm using Midjourney a lot and loving it. And um, I'll throw in another thing. When we went to the podcast show, uh, Isabella, I, and the team, the awesome team, we we just pulled a ton of flyers with us, a ton of stickers, notepads, uh, postcards, and things like that. And the number of comments, thank you so much, by the way, if you were one of them that actually came past our stand at the podcast show and said, wow, those pictures are fantastic. And we're like, yes, it's it's AI. <laughs> and the final tool is Music LM, uh, new from Google. It's only just recently been released to the public. You can do AI-generated high-fidelity music, uh, add text descriptions and then turn them into music and create podcast intros. So podcast I've been playing all the way through this presentation was uh, an AI generated music at the start from Music LM. So let's see how it works. Podcast intro with electric guitar and classic rock feel. Happy and positive, exciting with a sense of optimism. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Let's type something else in. Relaxing jazz. With empathy. For, uh... Oh, maybe I didn't like that one. Let's go for something else. Happy music for a psychologically appeasing podcast intro. That sounds great. Takes a moment to generate. This is the chat GPT of music generation. Oh, yeah. Very, very good indeed. Okay. Uh, oh, this was the suggestion. Toe tapping, foot stomping Americana. Let's generate that and hear how this sounds.
I mean, it's not the best toe-tapping, foot-stomping Americana I've ever heard. You know, but it's not bad. It's not bad, is it? Okay, thanks very much. That is the presentation that I gave at the podcast show 2023. And there is time for Q&A. So if you are still watching at the end, uh, you, you may now leave if you've, if you've got everything you needed. That's the half hour presentation. But if you want to spend a few minutes uh, just doing some Q&A, you can post now in the chat. And I would actually be delighted to help you out with whatever it is you've got to ask or you want to say. Let's actually shout out a few of the comments that came in during this live stream. Uh, we had Red Planet in who said, hello, thank you, Mike, for this stream. I've been looking for something just like it and watching from Canada. So hello to you, Red Planet. Uh, we've got Serverek who says, funny enough, it was Around the World by ATC. La, 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 la. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that related to la, 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 AI that I was talking about? Uh, we've got uh, Kirsty who said, starting a podcast, so this should be helpful. Hey, that's absolutely cool. And Kirsty is actually asking in the chat, uh, any tips on how to leverage a few of these tools? And Shibab is actually asking, so what kind of podcast are you starting, Kirsty? It's a really pertinent question. I'll get to your question, uh, Kirsty, and some other questions. I'll throw in a few questions I had at the podcast show that I think are relevant to the end of this stream. But if you do have anything, do let me know in the chat. Um, so, Kirsty, how to start leveraging them? Well, you've got Midjourney there for your podcast artwork. You've got Eleven Labs uh, for cloning a voice and making multi-language podcasts. So what I thought was a really cool idea was you could take your English language podcast, translate it into German and French, a couple of other languages, upload them as separate feeds, and you could do a split test and figure out if there were some emerging markets for you. I'm waiting for more languages to be added because I think that would be super handy. Uh, what were the other tools that I mentioned? Well, I mentioned Adobe Podcast and Descript. They're great for editing your podcast and getting rid of noises and making sure everything sounds good. Lal Lal is good for splitting out stems from music you've generated using Google's Music LM, which is great for making podcast intros. You've got Adobe Firefly there that's just going to do crazy stuff for music generation and sound effect generation. That is cool. Whisper from OpenAI that I mentioned is great for transcription and multilingual. It's free and open source, which makes it very beneficial indeed. Uh, and yeah, there's just a ton of use cases, I think, there. Uh, thank you so much, Red Planet, for um, your gratitude for the stream. I'm really honoured to bring this to you, and I'm, I'm glad that I got the opportunity to present it last week in London, and uh, even more excited that I had the chance to put this out live on YouTube because um, I, I'm just happy that more of you can benefit uh, from, you know, what we've got here, the, the ability, this is changing all the time, these tools. Okay, a couple of other questions that I'm going to throw in uh, that were given to me on the, the floor at the podcast show in my room after I finished presenting. First of all, our native Hindi speaker who was there um, was very concerned that, uh, you know, big tech and big AI are focusing very specifically on only a thin sliver of languages like English mainly. And that's a bit of a worry for, well, Hindi has many different dialects, as I know does Arabic. That's a ton of different dialects. And is that all going to get lost in translation or erased using AI? It's a very good question. And, you know, in Africa, you know, you'll go from town to town or village to village and have different local dialects and words. So yes, I absolutely agree with you. It is a concern, a real concern, and AI and big tech has to pay attention to this and really address this. We don't want to lose languages, especially if, you know, AI voiceover becomes the norm and we're no longer using humans anymore. It's super important that we preserve cultures and languages and do it in a respectful way. So I'm really grateful that that was brought up and, you know, only time will tell. As far as I know, Eleven Labs only cater for eight spoken languages at the moment. I'm sure they'll add more, but again, it must be a real challenge to train those models for them. Uh, we got Caesar in who says, great tools. Thanks, Mike, uh, for your contributions as usual. Caesar from Panama watching. I'll start my podcast on education in Spanish, but I want to reach people who speak English too. Any suggestions? So go uh, check out the links in the description. You might want to take a look at Eleven Labs, Caesar. I don't know yet if you can train it up on uh, a Spanish-speaking voice, but you may be able to. And then if you can, you can do multilingual and translate to English. It doesn't do the actual translation, 11 Labs, so you'll need to use another tool. I was using ChatGPT. I'm not sure how good it is. 
maybe I think I was using GPT 3.5, so maybe GPT 4 would be better for that. Google Translate could be another option as well, and I'm, I'm sure others will pop up over time that will simplify this. But great question, Caesar. Okay, if we don't have any more questions, I may just throw in one more question. Uh, no, two more questions that were significant from the podcast show. I know Dan was in my session and asked me specifically if there's any way, if there's a podcast with multiple guests of making a, a short or a remix uh, with multiple camera angles, like, you know, automatically switching uh, between each guest uh, and also doing a split screen when more than one guest is speaking. And at the time, I, I had to defer you, Dan, and say, sorry, I can't answer that right now. I'll need to do more deep research. Well, actually, Dan, I did find out and I didn't know this all, but it didn't come to my mind at the time. Uh, there is actually a, a very good plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro called Autopod, and you may well want to check it out, okay? Autopod is the name. It's a paid plugin. Add it onto Premiere, and it's really good. I want to also give a, a shout-out to my friends at Chopperty. Uh, those guys are super sweet. They, they came uh, to my talk, and they also came over to our booth at Music Radio Creative a few times. We had some nice chats. Uh, they seem to be doing good stuff with uh, snipping of podcasts into usable YouTube shorts as well. So shout-out to them, and definitely check those guys out as well. And so uh, no more questions here in the live chat, so I'll just end on this, and I think it's a great question to actually end this stream on and that is that <laughs> i was asked do you think mike that uh, you know in the future we're going to have an issue discerning what is human and what is ai uh, and uh, i think this is a huge ethical concern you know we we don't know we already now don't know now that the the cat's out the bag the genie's out the bottle right we don't know how much of what we read and see online or anywhere else for that matter in the real world is now artificially generated. And I think it's going to be really super important probably in the future. I think this is a great question to end on as well, uh, that we maybe get this stamp of approval to say 100% organic human generated content. Uh, so that will be very interesting. And that, I think, is a fabulous place uh, to leave this presentation. Thank you so much for joining me. I really am very grateful for your time today. I hope you've taken something away from this and I hope you go on and have a great rest of the day. Like I say, if you've got any other questions um, and you're watching the replay, post them in the comments down below. I will get to them. I read and try to reply as much as I can. Uh, drop me a line. I'm always here, happy and willing to help. And I hope you've enjoyed the session. Thank you so much either for coming meeting me in person or joining me virtually here on YouTube. And there will be more to come.